What's going on guys, in this video I'll be going over an easy Bad Dead Redemption 2 hunting spot after the patches and the nerfs to hunting. And if you're new to the channel and you like Red Dead Redemption 2 online content like this, definitely consider subscribing and liking if this video helped you at all. But anyways, getting into it, so the spot you're going to want to head over to is right next to Strawberry on the map right here, which is Owan Jola maybe Lake, I don't really know what that's called, but to the left of the Strawberry right here, and you're going to want to go towards the upper part, and then make your way around the curvature of the lake, which I'll show you more clearly down here. So anyways, why you want to head to this area is because there's actually a lot of beavers, fish, and especially muskies spawn here, as well as just random other wildlife, especially like some, there's always a ton of birds, whether it be ducks or loons or things of that nature. So as you can see, as I go up right here, um, there's always beavers over here because this is like a dam type location, and then I killed a beaver and a loon right there pretty quickly. But besides this, there are also a ton of other animals, and after I skin these two guys, I'm going to show you how to actually catch a muskie every single time by simply shooting it with your varmint rifle. So anyways, if you hold, head over to this location, there pretty much always is fish spawning. You don't have to take out your rifle or anything like that. And as you can see, there's already a muskie right here. And I think there's a couple of them actually. But anyways, I just choose to shoot this first one. And then I also shoot a couple other fish because fish honestly bring in pretty good money if you just shoot them with a varmint rifle. Because um, there's a blue gill right there. And typically these fish, if they're two stars or above, will bring in at least 75 cents to a dollar plus. And a two-star muskie actually brings in over $7. I think it's $7.70. And that is a very, very high amount. One of the highest amounts for a fish and one of the highest amounts just honestly for any animal pelt in two-star condition. So anyways, I'm going to put this muskie on the back of my horse. And one problem though about the muskies is they do take up a spot of a large animal. So I have to store it on the back of my horse. But this spot is actually super easy for just getting fish of all different kinds, whether it's muskies or not. And fish, honestly, you can do 10 of each, so they do actually bring in a pretty decent chunk of change if you are able to kill enough. But anyways, what's great about this spot, though, is that there's a ton of animals that spawn all along this bend right here. So over here, there's typically either ducks or loons that spawn in this location, and if there's not, they'll be somewhere along here. And this spot's really nice, actually, because it's super easy to kill a lot of them very quickly. And one annoying part about killing ducks in water is that sometimes if you're too deep and you're actually swimming in the water, you can't capture them. But this little um, bridge slash dock thing right over here actually captures them for you. So that's super nice because you can actually jump down and it get, they get stuck in the dam right here. And you can pick them up so you don't lose them going downstream or anything. And there's also sometimes ducks that spawn down here as well. But anyways, the next spot you're going to want to look is just simply up the uh, other stretch of this uh, lake right here. So if you go up and down here, there'll also be more fish and muskies if you're in looking for them still. But also there's always some sort of animal group and it's usually a medium to large size animal group that spawns up here. So there's a lot of deer actually up here as well. So this spot hasn't got hit. Actually a duck just flew out as well it looks like. And this spot's really nice overall because you can always get a couple of kills with some sort of medium to large animal, I've noticed. So I got three deer here. Um, unfortunately, they weren't the best that they could be, but uh, they were pretty good for the pelts and they do still take pretty good, uh, they bring in pretty good money here. So overall from this location, um, you can easily get a bunch of fish, at least one two-star muskie, as well as some other random birds, which are always, always nice. And this spot overall just seems to be a great spawn for all different types of animals. And actually, if you just continue to like run around this end of the lake, uh, you will actually have them respawn and you can get more and more, especially some good ones like the beavers and the ducks, as well as some of those fish. But other than that, guys, I'm going to bring you over to the butcher real quick and to just simply show you guys how much I'm actually making from all of these different fish as well as these different animal parts and stuff like that. So anyways, over at the butcher, which is actually super close on the strawberry one, if you go down to the muskie, you make $7.75 from one two-star muskie. So that's actually super good. And then also just from doing this for a handful of minutes, I actually got a ton of other different animal parts. But... Other than that, guys, is really it for this video. Um, unfortunately, Red Dead Redemption 2 thought it would be a good idea to nerf a bunch of hunting spots as well as animal spawns, but this one actually seems to do well. So uh, definitely check out this location. It's close to a butcher, and there's a ton of different animals here. 
But anyways, guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, definitely leave a like. And also, if this video helped you and you like content like this with Red Dead Redemption Online, I post that kind of stuff. So definitely consider subscribing. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching.